Quest adventure out. Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 118 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we started by finishing the final challenge in the game, we picked up some new documents and found some more random encounters. After a night of drinking, Uncle was kidnapped by the Skinner brothers, to which John and Charles managed to rescue him, and soon after we were reunited with Abigail and Jack. They returned to New Austin, which we finally discovered Otis Miller's treasure, and also picked up some other points of interest. So I've taken us back to Beach's Hope, um, I'm just going to try with... Charles again, see if he's gonna give you the item request. He should have put him out of his misery. He doesn't know how close he came. Oh, I think he does. Good. Well, you take care now. Take care, John. Clearly not. Okay, well, let's see how, uh, how Uncle's doing. We ain't gonna hear the end of this, are we? I was smoked, John. Like a ham. Like meat. Your legs in the box. Of course I'm gonna talk about it. Know what I like about hams, old man? They taste good, and they're silent. Don't mind me. All right, John. All right. Well, it's not a big uh, waste, because obviously. Charles. Ah, uh, it's good to have you here. This beats getting shot in San Denis. Sure does. All right. Hit buddy item request. But of course, we're going to be starting up with the next mission. And you know, we're actually a lot closer to the last mission than I thought. We actually have, I think, three or four more regular missions than the finale. So, but let's uh, talk with Jack. We're going to do trying again. How you getting on, son? Uh, fine, sir. What are you doing? Reading and uh, playing with the dog. You wanna go fishing or something? Not particularly. I don't really like fishing. You do like eating though, right? Cause we gotta find some food. Oh, I said last time, like, oh, I never have to go fishing Come again, on. and here we are, going fishing. Head this way to the stream. Do you remember fishing with your uncle Arthur? Sir. Why you gotta be like that? I'm sorry. It's okay. Do you wish I was more like you? Like me? No. But let's keep going. Can Rufus come fishing? Dogs scare the fish. But if you'd like him to, I guess. So you don't care if we don't catch fish? Yeah, I. I'm not very good at this. At fishing or walking? At talking with you. But fishing will be fun. Sure. Unless you want nothing but beans again. Hmm. No. I'd like to fish. And it'll be pretty fun, I promise. Okay. It's fine being out with you even though I... Can't say the right thing. And you, Pop. We should... Let's do more of this. Sure. I, I mean... Yes. I'd like that. Pretty countryside, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I guess. Grass and light. There's a lot of ugly in this world, but sure as hell is a lot of beauty. Yes. Deep, John, deep. You'll see it better when you get older. It's tough at your age. Just land and life. But to me, it's... This is a real good fishing mm. spot. Folk always say that. And hours later, they've caught nothing. Ain't you just the leading authority on everything? Well, ain't it so? Well, maybe. In this case, it's true. I hear there's some real big fish in here. Big old steelheads. Hard to catch, but real good eating. Hard to catch. Get your excuses in early. That dog of yours know <laughs> he's owned by a complaining know-it-all? Come on, son. I'm sorry. No, you ain't. It's all right. Come on, let's fish. 
Well, I do have uh, a special spinner, so. Uh, Uncle Jose, uh, he was the fisherman, wasn't he? That's right. I remember Uncle Arthur taking me though. Oh. Taught you how to fish, now, did he? Huh. Yeah. I suppose he did. That's nice. <laughs> I got a bite. I got a bite. All right. Now stay calm and start reeling them in. Not too fast. You want to set the hook in tight. He's he's strong. Good. Now reel him in. Stay calm. Give him a tug. Now reel. Hey. Good lad. <laughs> What do you think? How you feel? <laughs> I don't... I feel... I don't know. Thanks, Dad. I told you this was a good fishing spot. You did. Hey, my trip with Arthur, I remember now. I picked some flowers, and a couple of men showed up, dressed like they was from the city. No one like that's gonna show up here. Thank the Lord. Uh, Where's really? Rufus? I don't know. Relax. He's a dog. Where is he, though? I'm curious to what uh, Jack actually remembers from uh, the gang there, because he seems to forget some things and I'll go find him. remember some others. Oh. He doesn't remember going to do it with Angelo Bronte, but he remembers uh, Arthur. It's just. Uh, Let me come help you look. Yeah. Do they have to trail? Oh, well, with the unknown animal. I don't know where the trail is though. It says there's one, but I can't see it. I think I can hear him. He's gonna be all right. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Pa? Keep going, Dad. Rufus, no. Don't swallow it. I know, Jack. It's in my first rodeo. Well, it might be John's first rodeo, but it's not my first rodeo. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. He'll be okay. You just. Gotta get him somewhere warm and calm. He's gonna die. Go get the fishing rods and the fish. I'm taking the dog home. First adventure out. Can I get a hand? What, what's going on? Dog got bitten by a snake. Let's look after him. And the boy. Grab his rug. Is it gonna be okay? Jack, the dog is gonna be just fine. We never should have gone fishing. Sometimes. Sometimes. You just don't know how things are going to turn out. But... But the dog... The dog's going to be fine. It's okay, son. <sighs> Poor dog. I mean, he makes it to the first game, so we know it's going to be alright, but... Still. Poor thing. Hey, we've got a gold, our first gold in ages. <laughs> right, catch a fish, complete within 5 minutes, 20 seconds. Just catch a fish, catch one. Wow. What did you think of going game? It's like, it's, yeah, you know. Alright. Oh, gold. Calm down. Calm down. Let's not destroy the place we've just built. 
Uh, again, whilst we're here, I want to see if we can either get Uncle... Not Uncle, sorry. Um, although Uncle does have an item request, but it's actually after the epilogue. Charles' item request. Longer. You ain't a brawler, Charles. Your family. Okay, well, well I'll no. Leave you to it, Tim. Sounds good, John. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna be an off screen job, isn't it? Off camera. I'm standing around for like two hours trying to get him to give me the thing that he wants. Alright, where's, where's Rufus? Is he still resting? Oh, there he is. Rufus, 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 can I study you yet? Hey, there we go. Rufus is a good boy. Yeah, it is. He's a. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna pat him. Let me pat Rufus. Oh. Yeah, he's a bit too sensitive here yeah, after uh, what happened. Okay, um. Well. Don't want me to have a go, just making a, making a mess. In Potter Armadillo, gonna buy ourselves a new outfit. And then we're gonna get uh, back on track for work in uh, clearing up New Austin in terms of collectibles. We've also got a few more dinosaur bones as well, actually. So, we're doing pretty well in that regard. See the sun worship things is I can't I can't really tell how many days it's been since I did the last one. Um, it might be the case of doing it as just a purely off camera thing, and I'm just doing like several at a time because they only last about thirty seconds, so I don't think so. It's not going to take up too much time. Taking time, I'm only crossing a bridge really. <laughs> Not a bit more than that, obviously, but it's really not that far. Okay. Hello again, pardon. It's all here waiting for you. I keep this around. But he have a moon and he's clients. Enjoy. Weird. Picture of the strange man. So we've got 39, 75, 32, 35, and we've got the um, armadillo. So let's get the ranch hand. $2.50. Quality is actually cheaper over the long term. Still sure, looks naff. Keep browsing. Thanks, mister. All right. So, for stop, we're heading to Mesa Station. Uh, looks like, just about here. So let's go, and we should have some uh, some supplies here. Okay, uh, is it in this chest? No, it's a, not even a chest. It's a, whatever. All right, let's look in here. Very nice. Okay. Let's go, let's go, what are we doing? Uh, okay, if we come to uh, about here, let's add a Fort Mercer. We got our next dinosaur bone. So let's have a nosy. It's also close to a sun worshipper spot, which I think you've got to go in the order of uh, appearance. I don't think you could just sort of choose which one you get. But I mean, I guess we'll find out now if you can, because they're basically on top of each other. Was that noise? Oh, it's the, it's the pigs. I don't need no stinking pigs. You'll be okay. 
Right, that's like just about here. to go. Uh, annoyingly, and this is the live one down here, we've got a cheat code. Which is going to be very out of the way of uh, anything else I need to do. Assuming it's this side. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Should be a rock over here. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, there it is. My kingdom is a horse. Come all the way down here for that. <laughs> I could have literally just said like, oh yeah, so this this uh, one is uh, called uh, My Kingdom is a Horse and I don't need to go down there and it literally would have made no difference. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, anyway. Uh, rather than spare with all that, let's set up camp and we'll just fast travel over to Right, can we fast travel? Yes, we can. Good. To Tumbleweed. We are uh, bypassing some uh, things here. We'll go back for them. It's just it's closer to what we want to grab now than you was than uh, Armadillo is. So we literally may as well. It's actually our first proper visit to Tumbleweed. I've passed through on occasion. Well, not passed through the town. I've sort of gone near it to the point that it obviously added it into the fast travel log. But this is Tumbleweed whilst it was still prospering before the town became abandoned by the time of the first game. But I suppose we might as well uh, declare it new Tumbleweed over here. What's all the nonsense? You don't release me now. Twelve angry Mexicans is gonna ride through this town. Burn it all to hell. Keep Only lock business. me up if we you want this town here. to burn, Sheriff. <laughs> we do not respond amicably to threats. <laughs> What's the charge? He was robbing a stage. Then the sentence is death. Make hey, your no. peace, partner. The boy was gonna put me in a cell. This is wartime, and like you said, no. <sighs> we Jeez. Take the risk. Uh, sheriff. Okay. From now on, trials are going to be quick, and justice even quicker. We will not submit to these lawless games. Give it a few years, Sheriff. Get this trash out of town. Where there's one Del Lobo, there'll be more. Yes, sir, Sheriff. Now you can be a help or a hindrance. You want to help? Follow me in. Okay, I feel this is going to put me into the, the bounty. I was hoping you was the obliging kind. I didn't want to be this varietal of sheriff, but the situation demands it. Just take that bounty poster there and you'll find out. These fellas is known as the Del Lobo gang, meaning of the wolf in the Mexican tongue. I only wish they was that civilized. Let me take a look at that bounty. Okay. So we've got a sixty dollar reward. He will be paid upon the will be paid to the arrest of Joaquin Arroyo, charged and wanted for questioning in cases murder, robbery, arson. A Mexican by birth, age forty two, five feet nine inches, weight around hundred and fifty pounds, complexion dark, mustache and goatee. 
He's known to frequent red light district saloons and was spotted near Solomon's Folly. He's a member of the Del Lobo gang and should be considered extremely dangerous. The reward will be paid immediately upon presentation to the office of Sheriff Freeman Tubbleweed. Alright. I will take it. Joaquin Arroyo. Word is he's up at Solomon's Folly. These Del Lobo's been killing, stealing, torching and tormenting the good people of this region for too long. Only good one's a dead one. Except if they know a thing or two, and I believe this one does. You bring him here, I'll have a few words, and then I'll send him to St. Peter. You have my sworn oath on that. This bounty, alive seems a pretty big ask for one of these Del Lobos. It is a pretty big ask, and that's a pretty big price. If you're worried about justice, he won't be alive for long after you walk him through that door. Hmm. I'm gonna ride across the desert, bring you a bounty just so you can kill him. God, no. I'll converse with him first. But after that, things will move real swift around here. Ours ain't a hanging judge, you'll see. He's the I'm with you whatever kind. <laughs> Now it's just the not-so-small task of bringing him in. I'd rather nothing befell that varmint. Justice will be mine. You have the authority of this office. Don't be mistaken. Okay, I wasn't planning on doing that immediately, but... At least we've got it, uh, got it marked. I didn't want to be a hindrance, I wanted to be All a help. Right, uh, it looks like, actually... We've got a few uh, cigarette cars around here. We've got the stars of the stage one up here. Can we find inside the burned out house on the windowsill by the mantelpiece? Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Jesse Raymond. Very nice. Ooh. <laughs> Very nice. And that's that set finished. Cool. Uh, Alright. If we come to this building here, looks like. Hmm. Yeah. Behind the sign should be a Flora of North America card. Okay, can we? Thank you. There we go. Catalina Lip Liparu? No idea. Uh, we just got another one more of those to go. Oh, calm down, John. Uh, okay, yeah, the Della Boat execution. We just uh, we just saw that. And in the old, uh, what will be abandoned mansion, we've got a car. And well, actually, it's our final Flora card. to be. There we go. Desert... Desert what? Fan palm? Is that what that says? There you go. Very good. Another two sets completed. Uh, if we come just... Hmm. Looks like it's about here, actually. Should be a windmill. Uh, yes, I see it. The windmill. Enjoy your day, people, and enjoy it safely. Take a look. The laws of people breaking this town aren't even on the books. All right, then. Go back in. Go 
Okay. Oh, I thought I was gonna give like a speech or something then. Yeah. Oh. This is Tumbleweed. We are the end of the civilized world. Anarchy exists just outside this town, but here, here, life is good. And life is good because we follow the rules. Disobedience will be fatal. None of you. None of you forget that. Welcome to Tumbleweed, son. Treat us with respect and we'll love you like family. Miss Babe. That horse makes all of us look like mules. That clear boy. Very clear. Said, is that clear boy? I ain't a troublemaker. Okay. What in the hell is wrong with you? Calm down, dude. It ain't that serious. Oh, I'm sorry. Blimey, well, that guy's uh quite the uh quite the sheriff, isn't he? He has to lay down the law, that's for sure. Oh, I missed that then. And that is Billy Midnight. Yeah, and all that. Just shut him down without uh, too much hesitation. See if we can reach the. Oh, look at that. And another set completed. What do you know? It's almost like we're right at the end of the game. <laughs> uh, come over here. Have another dinosaur bone. Yep, there you is. Let's take you off. Number twenty nine. Okay, let me just check the time. Just check the time, not to oh my god, we're up to nearly at half past. Blimey. Yeah, that 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 went quick. <laughs> Um, actually, you know what? I'm actually really close to the final dinosaur bone, which is uh, a bit here. So let's go grab it. And that is sort of, I think that's actually our final stranger related thing we have left. At least, um, well, there's the smoking and other hobbies thing as well. But um, there isn't a final cutscene for that, I'm fairly sure. If we're reaching all the sets, it's literally just uh, you've got collectible things. Like, you don't even need to collect all the cigarette cards for 100%, you just need to finish one set, and then you get the percentage that it's going to give you. So it's literally just for just for fun. Of course it's on the other bloody side, isn't it? Of course it is. Why won't it be? Yep, there it is. Okay, but just being awkward, I suppose. But yeah. So, at all locations of the dancer bonds, I can now mail the remaining coordinates to Deborah McGillis from any post office. Well, you know what? Let's head back to Blackwater. Because at least I know there's a post office there. There might be one in Tumbleweed. Actually, there's the one in Tumbleweed. Because we are right there. Uh, no, there is not. Oh, well, that's just rude. But well, there's definitely one in Blackwater. So uh, we'll go there and we'll send off the send off the coordinates, and then hopefully by next episode we should be ready for our final encounter with Deborah McGuinness. But yeah, I mean we've got. Hmm. We've got a, a handful of stuff left to grab, collectible wise. It's all quite scattered. So I'm thinking maybe one or two more sets and we should be able to, uh, to clear everything up though. Which is all good in the hood. Come on, no time like the present. Uh, plus 
done this way, I think. In fact, actually, actually, actually. Oh. Maybe you got something to add here. Hands off the old man or I start making gun smoke. Ah, oh, screw this. Ain't worth my time. Thanks, John. Seems like they play some different rules around these parts. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I read that in the bottom of a bottle once. Oh, don't you start to. Anyway, I I'll see you back at Beecher's. That's enough excitement for one day. Maybe mix in some coffee with your next pour, huh? Yeah. Ruth, hey. <laughs> Good to have you back, sir. Hmm. You watch real close. Believe it or not, he's a good man under all the personality. He don't watch himself, all that goodness won't do him for shit. Keep some distance from that guy. I won't take it kindly anything happens to him. Yeah, yeah, you just keep a hold on him. Friends have a way of disappearing when they're hijo de putas. Okay, uh, as I was saying, uh, can we wait till morning here? Uh, you know, we, we're pressed for time. We, we really can, but we, we, there is a new newspaper that uh, gets released after Uncle's bad day. I just remembered then. Okay. Right with you. Beautiful. Bye for, for now. Okay, that's gonna take forever, so let's still look through our journal. Uh, so we saw that. Hmm. There we go. Saw so that. Uh, that's literally it. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, was that it? Was that the final set? Wow, it was. We actually finished off all the cigarette cards. Uh, yeah, we did actually. Now that I checked the map, that was actually the last of the cigarette cards. That's amazing. Finished the final cigarette cards, the final dinosaur bones. Craziness. All right, let's uh, save the game. So last time we finished on 94.8%. Today we are on 95.2%. Fantastic, that is a Put four percent increase. So, I'm not sure what uh, the other point one percent, unless we were just skimming the percent on ninety four point eight, and it was actually more like ninety four point nine. Obviously, the mission is point three percent. So, yeah, there you go. Anywho, that is where we're going to end it for today. Uh, great progress today, of course. We managed to finally, uh, well, finish off the cigarette cards and the dinosaur bones. Although we need to sort of finish the epilogue to that, which is meeting Deborah McGuinness. Uh, we've got another mission done. We've only got a handful of those left. Um, yeah, we're doing really well there. Uh, on, off camera work for next time, we're going to really try and get Charles to give me his item request. Um, uh, uh, there's not really that an awful lot to do. There's more documents, but we've finished all the challenges. I've finished all the Trapper stuff. Um, probably try and blitz through some of those Sun Worshipper events, and if there are any other events I need to do. But I really need to think about wrapping up my off-camera work now, because we are getting really close to the end of the game. Which is remarkable. So, yeah. Anywho, before I put them, I take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My £5 patrons are Ever the Snake and Ron Hyler. You can find links to their channels as well as my other £3 patrons in the description down below. And those green also credits my £1 patrons. Thank you so much everyone. This is truly appreciated, and it goes a long way to help the channel, so I do thank you all for that. And if you wish to become a patron, you can follow the link in the description down below. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.